Okay, so my name is Juan Banda, and I'm going to, my project for Bly is to try to bring the paradigm of data programming for PEM annotation via a piece of software called Snorkel. And I'll clarify what most of that means. <laughs> so, first of all, about me, well, I'm a research scientist at Nigam Shah's uh, lab in Stanford. I'm a hackathon enthusiast. I've seen a lot of familiar faces. I attended probably over 50 in my life, 20 last year, so it's fun. Oops. I usually don't break stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, research interests, if you're very interested in talking about random stuff, like electronic phenotyping, machine learning, pharmacovigilance, semantic web, image retrieval, CVR systems, that's the stuff that I kind of do. So for this, uh, for the Blah project, so it's data programming, yeah. Uh, for pronunciation via circle. So what do we need? Well, all the volumes of data being generated, health records, cheaper sequencing, etc. Or that produces a lot of publications. And you want to have, uh, you know, high quality label data sets for research. So a lot of people here know how painful that is. You either do it by hand or you do extensive NLP pipelines or all kinds of stuff to do it. Well, this data programming thing has been proposed to actually rely instead of, uh, you know, gold standards, rather try to do some lower quality auto-generated noisy labels for data. So we can then train weekly supervised models and then use generative models to denoise this training data. And you will effectively be end up with a sort of gold standard. Of course, it won't compare to something labeled by a human but it would be close enough that if you have enough data, you'll be able to do okay with it. So as that image says, I mean, training data is basically becoming the new oil. We have way too much data. There's not a lot of label data. So this is one paradigm that tries to address that. So what is Snorkel? Well, Snorkel, it's a piece of software that was developed as a light version of uh, Deep Dive. Uh, that was developed by Chris Ray's group at Stanford, uh, this is a hazy research group. It started being called DD Light, so some people might be familiar with it by that name. Uh, it recently changed to Snorkel a few months, well, half a year ago or so. And basically, Snorkel is a framework uh, that will develop structure information extraction applications for domains in which you know large label training sets are not available or easy to obtain uh, using the data programming paradigm. So basically, Snorkel almost, and also Deep Dive have been used to uh, extract label sets and create label sets from images. And uh, up until last year, they're starting to figure out if it, if it works for biomedical uh, data. It actually, they've shown that it, it does. Uh, they even, they have, there's some demos on the website that shows how this works and a couple of the biocreative tasks. Uh, well, in essence, data programming is an approach to develop a machine learning system uh, where the developer focuses on writing a set of labeling functions and which will create a large but noisy training set. So Snorkel will then learn a generative model of this noise. So learning essentially which labeling functions are more accurate than others and use this to train a discriminative classifier. So some examples of learning functions, they're in Python. So you have here two learning functions in the first figure. One is basically a simple example that extracts chemically induced disease relations from literature. And the, the, the one on the left, the one on the right is a little bit more uh, complicated since it uses heuristics. And sort of a toy example of how the, the modeling works here. You know, you build a generative model with labeling functions, and then you assume that as truth, and then you build a discriminative model. So again, there's way too many more details in this. I'm just giving a very high overview of this. So basically, this is how the annotation pipeline works. So you have, so you have some label grant truth for development. You then write your labeling functions in Python. You can actually produce some metrics and see how your labeling functions are doing. And this is basically a loop that you keep basically going at it until your 
labeling functions are good enough. Uh, and again, there's the kind of the pipeline outline. Uh, the full explanation is in that workshop paper. So the goals for here is that I, I want to build extensions for Snorkel to produce all annotations in both annotation format. As of now, Snorkel outputs a bunch of stuff, a bunch of random, uh, you know, annotations in the sense that you get the positions in the text, you get what it is, and that's it, in its own ad hoc format. So I'm, I'm going to make it produce annotations in pub annotation format. This will also allow the advantages of all pub annotations capabilities, so you can display them and do whatever you want with them, and cross-functionality with all the other tools that people have uh, already built, um, you know, made, the, made it work for pub annotation. Also, the other, the second goal will be to build an extension for Snorkel to extract annotations for pub annotation. Being, if you want to get some ground truth data set that somebody else annotated, somebody put in pub annotation, you can easily and seamlessly do it for the validation and testing of your own labeling functions. And the maybe goal was to find somebody that's uh, collaborated, somebody that's providing uh, annotated corpus during block and see if anybody's interested in building labeling functions to try to replicate what you know what you've done with that annotated corpus just to kind of validate the, the usability of snorkel again this is being independently done by another group at stanford but it will be kind of nice to see it you know in a quick way and the reach goals this is if uh, everything goes very quickly and fast is to build some bare bones web interface to interact with a running instance of Snorkel. Now you have some Python, I notebook. It's very kind of clunky, in my opinion. So it basically will be a, build a nice tool that you can actually write rules in interactively without having to deal with all the stuff that the Snorkel has. I mean, whoever has, since, whoever has installed it is kind of clunky. It's an active development. So this will actually make it nicer for other people to use. And basically, that's it. So my acknowledgments, thanks for DC, DCLS and Blau organizers for travel support and for being able to work in this project and the labs that most of this work is in my lab that allowed me to disappear for a week. <laughs> so any questions? Please?